Tale med at benytte kontakten for oven i vognen mellem kontakten. Først, a tale of a soldier finds gold, spends it all and steals a tea box. Then falls in love with a princess and causes great trouble, helped by three big dogs, but gets to be king. Gossip, gossip! One loose little feather may easily grow into five dead hens. There's no doubt about it. Yes, the chickens tell the owls, and the owls tell the doves, and the doves tell the bats. And so, the stories. When a top loves a ball, and she thinks she's too high, and bounces too high, you know she'll come to a sad end. A lovely butterfly helps Thumbelina sail away, away from Mother Toad and her ugly son. Many adventures lie ahead. I know this because my friend the swallow gave Santa to me the whole story. Thumbelina saved the swallow's life, you know. In return, he introduced her to the King of Flowers. They fell The little mermaid left her beautiful undersea home to see the world. She came to love a human, and so made a man and a father. You see, she loved a young man whose life she saved, and asked the witch for legs so she could be with him. But, as often happens, she could not have everything she wanted. Now we come to the story of the most steadfast tin soldier. This handsome tin soldier loved a ballerina. While the other toys played, he only looked at her. The soldier had a great adventure involving a paper boat, a sewer, a large rat and a big fish. Through it all he stood straight and tall as a soldier should. Some people believe flattery, others praise stuff they cannot see. So it was with the Emperor's new clothes. Only a little child dared say, Look, he has nothing on. Once there was a duckling unlike other ducklings. The ducks and chickens bullied and bit him and called him ugly until he flew away. All through the autumn and winter he was lonely and sad. Then he met some beautiful swans and discovered that he too was a swan. Hmm. Nature always sets things right. The little match girl lights a match to warm her hands and dreams of a warm house with a Christmas tree and roast greens. Soon she'll be far away in a place where there's no cold, no hunger. Can an artificial nightingale sing as beautifully as a real one? Only the real one could bring tears to the emperor's eyes in the sun. Once, a wicked demon invented a distorting mirror which fell to earth in a million pieces, falling into people's eyes and into their hearts, which turned to ice. This happened to a boy named Carl who then was taken away by the Snow Queen. Little Gerda, Kai's friend, bravely set out to find him. A friendly crow gave advice, and a swift reindeer carried her northward as she searched for the Snow Queen's castle. Kai and Gerda are safely home, but watch out. The wicked demons are still causing mischief. The shepherdess and the chimney sweep decided to run away from her disapproving grandfather. But the world is so big. Still, the story has a happy ending. Ah, 
This is how it feels to fly through the night in a magical flying toy. Just as the rich merchant's son did when he flew to the castle of the beautiful princess. I would tell the wonderful tale he told the king and queen. But we're out of time and the next story awaits. A prince came to this castle with wonderful gifts, but the princess scorned them and refused to see the prince. In disguise, he got a job as imperial swineherd and made musical parts and such that so charmed the princess that she guessed him. But discovered by the emperor, they were banished. Out with you! The prince said, Thou wouldst kiss the swineherd for a musical part and not have the prince prize his gifts. Then he left the princess and went on. How do you know when a young lady is a princess? Why, place a pea under twenty mattresses and twenty feather beds. If the lady says the bed is yours, it's not always the one who can recite the dictionary or knows embroidery who wins the lady. Sometimes dead crows and billy goats will do the trick. Just once the gas the duck. Thank you for joining me in my flying trip. I always enjoy sharing my fairy tales.